And right, today we're going to show you how to use index. Now, first of all, you go to developer and then insert. Go on the drop down menu and click the second option. Then you drag to create your combo box. Right click and format controls. Now it's asking for an input range. This is basically going to be from your customer detail sheet and it will be your customer ID, some sort of code telling you which customer is which basically. Click back on cell link. Make sure you do do this because it brings you back to the main page. Now it's asking for a cell link. This is basically going to link all your cells together, your customer name, customer address. I'm going to set it as A1 in this spreadsheet but you can set it wherever. Um, click OK and click off it and you should be able to see the numbers drop down. If we change the colour of the writing though in A1 you'll also see that it's bringing up a number for each of the drop downs so like for 124 it's the first one in the list so it'll bring up the number 1 same for 561 and just etc etc. Um, Zoe's going to show you how to relate the customer name to the number now. Okay so uh, Lizzie's basically showing you how to do the drop down menu but if we want to do an index to find the customer name, we just go to this function uh, button here and scroll down until we find um, index, which is here, and click OK. And click OK again on this first box. And then to find the uh, array, we need to go to uh, customer details to find out the customer name. So we just pop to customer details and then just move the box out of the way and we need to highlight all these uh, names here with a full name with the title and make sure it's really important that you click in the row number box next which will link you back to the page that um, Liz has already mentioned. For this row number you need to click on the reference of A1 that we've already used um, so remember that and just don't worry about this column here um, we don't need to worry about that just click OK and you'll see that I uh, ID 561 is Mr. Daniel Fearing, and we can just check this, and you can see there that that's correct. Uh, again, doing the same sort of thing, we need to find the customer address this time, so back to the button, find index, click OK, and OK again. Then we need to go to customer details, find the full address. Click in the box again, take us back to the invoice, click on the reference cell and ignore this box. OK. Liz is now going to show you how to do the postcode, which is very similar. Yeah, the postcode is basically exactly the same as what Zoe's been showing you. Um, you go back to the invoice, go to the formula box, scroll down for index, and hopefully it, sh it should be there click on the first option, the array back to customer details, see where the postcodes are listed, highlight all of them, don't worry about the column number, click OK. Right, if that comes up don't worry, basically we've missed a step out but it's fine. After this, just insert a comma and go to the cell reference which is A1, simple as, click enter and it's worked. <laughs> Um, basically, w with the cell reference, you don't want customers to see that, so you'd obviously hide it, turn the font white, for example, and it's disappeared. This cell links all of them together. Again, the first number in the list, the third number. All the details should hopefully change. Um, that's basically it. Indexes are very useful on invoices because they're just quicker to see where all your customers are. Um, that's it.